it's a scope wood hole and I've got the medical by axial. Um, I made a silly video about this lock. I thought I bricked it. Um, then I actually revived it the other day because of the grub screws. So we're going to give it another try. So the biaxial and the medical original side by side. Um, a little difference in the keyway and the constant picking down there, but uh, it's old new stock by the way. Really nice looking. Um, so the difference is the the way the key, the bidding is, um, the way the keys, the key pins are placed. See here in the original, uh, I've been using, been picking this low, low cut, uh, I've been trying to pick this low cut, uh, original, it's been horrible, a nightmare, but, um, the pins are spaced evenly apart, just like any normal pin tumbler. Uh, the biaxial brings in, see, pin one, two, and three. Evenly spaced, but three, three and four are not. There's an extra gap or extra space between that, um, and four and five are especially close together. So, uh, if there's any di more differences in the bias versus the originals, feel free to chime in. So what we're going to do is try to get to shear line first by using heavy tension and then light tension uh, to rotate the pins. There's some rotation there in the core. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's the shear line.
because we're stuck on keep pin four. Lock has been the bane of my existence. Send this lock out to somebody to make sure I'm not crazy. <laughs> it's definitely this lock. Those last two pins are low cut and so close together. I think I showed you earlier. So it's four and five there. I believe it's four. That's giving me problems and I don't know if I can get the four properly. Um, or the way I want to in a way to rotate that pin. Um, but sometimes some pins just, they just could, they're stubborn. Um, some just don't want to move, um, especially when they're low cut. Rotation. 
the rotation at core and that rotation at pin 4. Let's have a problem. Pin 1 likes to get stuck up there time to time. We'll just do that again. Here's rotation. One, two, three, three. Yeah, I was concentrating on four, four and five one time. It's like in forever and then just hit come back and hit three and bam we got it open so <laughs> gotta be careful uh, i think i was trying to uh rip it forward or uh, you know what i mean uh, pull it which i'll try to do here in a minute probably like that me doing that mess around with the other keys Check on the one isn't as fluid. Oh, good. Okay. Yep, definitely four. Uh, we're actually recording this time. Uh, I don't know if I said that at the beginning of the video, but I recorded this yesterday. And somehow I ended up recording only the gutting. So that could drive me crazy. But we got the open. Very cool. If anybody listens to uh, Charles Builds Crap, uh, or I think it's the Block Support Radio, I have it written down. Um, a Sportcast. Um, so if, you, if anybody listens to that and you know what's going on, chime in. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Good morning, pick. All right. Let's see the open there. One's mastered. One and one, two, and three are actually mastered. I went in yesterday to a locksmith that was supposed to do medical in my area, and he had an older pinning kit and could not do it. Uh, I was asking him to make the uh, unmaster it pretty much. Um, eh, whatever. 
and it actually looks like um, I picked it to normal pin uh, uh, to the operating key anyway so Sidebar, thank God we kept the springs in on that. See how the mushroom pin uh, came out. Ooh, we got a little half moon here. Quarter moon, whatever you call it. Uh, that's how I think I drill, prote uh, drill protection. Drill plate. Um, there's another one. Alright, so that's waiting now. Drop that security pin there. And the others should be standard. Just the way this one came pinned up and the one that I've been working on, the original. I both have uh, the security pin right there in the middle. Or in the front, I'm sorry. I need to wake up. Should be it. Check out the inside of the core. There's the sidebar track. I don't know I'm not getting this lighting right. Easy comes out better after I film it, but let's just show you. I just want to get this done and done right. Maybe is it backlighting that? There we go, that looks a lot better. Alright, so that's the shell. Here's a plug. I haven't countermilled anything to make it worse on myself, I promise. <laughs> Alright, there we go. There's the light. Um, like I said, this is where the sidebar goes. It's been tampered with, and probably one of the most important things to look for or look at when you're looking at these videos is the sidebar to make sure nothing's been filed down or. I think anyway. Um, I think that's a anti-drill uh, anti-drill ball bearing. So I think that would go at the front, like so, so that can't be drilled out, or at least it has drill drill protection anyway. I'm gonna drop these baby springs here to make this video quick. All right. Good. Those aren't even scratches, they're just kind of smears or something, I don't know. Looks good. Alright, that's the sidebar. Now let's get you a close-up of the... Alright, 
There we go. All right, and if you want um, a good video on checking out uh, or on how to pick Medico uh, videos, should I say, uh, check out Lockfall Laboratories. Uh, he does amazing stuff. He, he actually had like an, an animated uh, video. Um, actually, his, his first video uh, helped me at least. Um, just showing how the, the, the pins rotated and what they did and how they interacted. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you want to know uh, how to pick medical, that's that's uh, those are some good videos to watch. Um, now, if you don't, if you're not sure of like how things actually interact and stuff like that in a key, in a key, uh, I'm sorry, in a, in a lock, especially a medical lock, that uh, that animated video is awesome. Uh, so yeah, um, that's that. We finally got this on camera. Uh, that's the medical biaxial pick. It's only a five pin, so we've got the original six pin coming up. Alright. Let's see here. About lost that anyway. That's a good angle. Spring there. Sidebar. Another sidebar spring. Lost one of those springs one time, it was not fun. I guess an uh, anti drill pin. Um, so, yeah, let's see here. See there coming out. This was master pinned, so it's just the way it came. I actually went out today to get that fixed, but the uh, the locksmith uh, that I have nearby that does medical, the only one, 
he uh, he had an older set of he had an older pinning kit for for the Medico, and he said he didn't do them anymore. Um, let's see, take it out as it comes out. So yeah, I was gonna get longer pins, um, but hey, it's Medico is Medico. Alright, we just lost one of our wafers. This one also has a wafer. Not sure if I mentioned, I thought this was uh, bricked. I was picking the the classic over there, and uh, I noticed it had grub screws on top, and so I hurried up and checked this one out. Sure enough, it did. Oh, I forgot about those. I call them little moons. I think, this, I think those are anti-drill discs. There should be another one in there. Yep. Oop, I'm out of frame. Need to close up in a second. So that one had no master wafering, or did, did that, that one? All right, perfect. Now the screws are the same, or the I'm sorry, the pin or springs. I think that's the big deal, the sidebar slot. Alright. Here's the core. Or the plug, as I said. So the sidebar fingers go in there. close up on all this. Uh, I think we already went over this side part of we go over it. I'm not sure if we did or not. Very uh, safe in the sorry. Yep, we went over this anti drill pin. Okay. Um, These are the that, those slits right down the side here. Right there. Um, that's your true gate. Um, some, well it's the only gate in this, this case. Uh, some come pinned up with false gates and true gates. Uh, but essentially your, your sidebar, when you will grab a hold of it whenever you're uh, when you're rotated to the correct position and then of course you want to uh, what we did was uh, we, we raised ourselves to the correct heights first first um, kinda... yeah there we go so first we, we raised ourselves to the correct height in the shear line after we got that we got a little a little faucet and then we took our pick and started poking around to rotate them properly. And then that's the one that would grab onto the inside of there. So, 
and of course you want to get all five in this case lined up. Um, let's get you a good look at a pin here. the only security pin come on there we go we've had some mushroom um, again correct me if I'm wrong and the rest are just standards springs Alright, that is the Medico Biaxial finally picked. And that's got a six pin Sergeant Greenleaf coming up. So uh, we've been hitting Medico pretty hard, so I'm just going to stick with it. And uh, yeah, that's it. Take care.